will see a little bit more sunshine overhead by about noon and one o'clock this afternoon. So it's not expected to be an entirely dreary day. 35 degrees though, so the heat is likely still clicking on because the sun is up. You would expect, of course, to see some, you know, relief there, but not happening because the temperatures are dropping. It's 31 in Coleman. Uh, we were in the upper 30s this morning, but the colder air mass is still going to be uh, dry. And so rain chances are out today and tomorrow, but they pick back up on Monday. That's when we have a potential for some impact weather. So let's go ahead and skip to early Monday morning. That's when we see the forecast models showing the potential for that uh, precipitation to start and then maybe even continue for at least three hours along the I-22 corridor and temperatures will be close to or just above the freezing mark at that point. We'll have some pretty cold nights too, so we'll have to watch out for any impacts along the I-65 corridor northward from Coleman County into Huntsville and into uh, Lawrence and uh, Florence and portions of I-59 as well. Now this is going to be 11 a.m. on Monday. The pink and the white still popping up on the future cast, but then turning into all rain and wind by Monday night. And so looking at the weather headlines right now, we expect to see the potential for some impacts early Monday morning, but still that future cast needs to be nailed down. It's dry this weekend, so enjoy it while it lasts. The low temperatures will be again below freezing by Monday night. The 12 hour forecast for today shows that the sunshine returns between two and four and the seven day forecast implying of course on Monday that the potential for that changeover from rain to snow still in the forecast and that may impact your travel and maybe even impact your day.